Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. We're shaking. We're shaking, everybody. It's just been a couple of days, all right? So, hey, when I, um, you know, just today, I keep hearing somebody say, like they waiting to see if their witchcraft is working on me. And I heard somebody say, she ain't on YouTube. It's only been two days. God said, don't worry. She taking a nap. Because she got a whole bunch of fucking downloads here. I need to give her. So whoever's like, oh, she's not on YouTube and thinking their witchcraft is working. No, this bitch is still here. All right? This bitch is still here. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. Y'all know I'm Pat, but Divine just wanted me to handle some shit. Because I'm standing in my power. And that's what Divine want you guys to do. Stand in your fucking power. Okay, it doesn't mean being a bitch and starting shit and stuff like that. It just means being strong. All right. And knowing that, you know, any spell work or anything like that, you're protected and know that you're protected and feel like you're protected. And that's removing fears. Okay. So that's what divine want you guys to know here. All right. So I appreciate you guys coming back. Thanks for all the loves, the bookings, the likes, the shares. Thank you for this. 13 13 tip I received and then after you sent a 13 13 tip this is what I got Corinthians 1 13 13 my spiritual message for today it was 13 13 all right and somebody sent me a 13 dollar and 13 cents tip I truly appreciate it thank you so there's a strong message in that 10 10 5 5 5 2 2 2 7 7 7 is the numbers that I've seen today Okay, so those can mean something pertaining to this reading. All right, so um, I have a lot of things going on. All right, and I'm staying on the move. And this is what God wants you to do. But divine seems to think that you guys are stuck in tarot land now. Y'all addicted to tarot. Everybody like tarot videos. But God's saying, are you utilizing the videos the right way? Are you understanding the messages that it's time to make changes in your life? All right. Some of you guys caught up like this shit is a soap opera. But, you know, just take the messages and utilize them in your life. But only take what resonates with you. All right. Divine said, I'm here trying to offer you guys shit, help you guys manifest. But y'all too busy watching tarot. So somebody's missing opportunities because they're not making moves. You guys aren't putting anything out there that you want to manifest, you know? So, um, Hey, I'm taking up all y'all little manifestation room. Cause Hey, y'all don't want to manifest shit. That's what divine is saying here. All right. So I bought a crystal. Look how big this shit is. I had no intentions on getting a crystal. Okay. But when I went to the crystal store, black absurdian, look how big this mug is. Divine said, this is how much protection that we have. This stone is so heavy. It's so big. I don't even know where the fuck I'm going to put it. But this is what I was guided to buy. Because Divine saying, this is how much protection that we are surrounded with. This much protection. Okay? And this right here is the Brazilian Healing Obsidian, Obsidian Crystal. Crystal. I hope I'm saying it right. Okay? But however... It's a crystal quartz. It's very powerful in its healing. It's very protective in its properties. All right? They are known for purification. They hold positive energy and open the heart to all levels and promote love, friendship, inner peace. Okay? And this is a very unique size. Okay? But it's a protective, powerful healer. Okay? And protection. So this is what divine, maybe you guys need to get a black absurdian, okay? All right, guys. So that's what I was guided to get. And I walked right to it, and that was the only one is. And I just literally left off the store. Didn't even look at anything else and just walked right to it, and that was it. So definitely, I feel like I'm definitely being divinely guided on certain situations, all right? I am a meditator, and so maybe that's a stone that divine want me to meditate on. So you really got to pick up your signs and synchronicities, okay? I got a lot of channel messages here, all right? I got some money laundering, hacking. Um, It's an inside job is what I'm hearing here. 
all right? The next message is Live and Die in L.A. It was a movie called Live and Die in L.A. Now, I don't know if somebody um, live in L.A., all right? But somebody is strictly for the streets. And somebody might die in the streets. Somebody live a street life. This don't have to be in L.A. It could be anywhere. But Divine saying somebody is so caught up in the streets, it's unreal, okay? And um, somebody could be calling your job, trying to harass you, get you fired. And they have did this before. So in the past, if you have lost a job and you never knew why, when you thought you were good, because somebody called and put in bad comments about you, somebody put in um, complaints about you to try and get you fired. All right. And I just see Miami. So I don't know what's going to happen in Miami. But what I do feel is uh, um, like a, 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 a one of those big old heavy ass uh, storms of water. Like it just comes up out the sea, out the uh, lake, out the ocean or whatever. And it just drown people again. Like one of those hurricanes again, I guess, is what I see here. All right. I see September the 27th, August the 6th or 7th, April the 17th. Okay. The next energy I got right here, um, I want to be nice, but it's a Caitlyn Jenner energy. All right. Caitlyn Jenner. Um, you know, I feel like somebody is in this energy and divine saying, y'all don't even know it, but some of y'all competition is a transgender. All right. Some of y'all competition is a transgender. All right. I got Pacific energy, um, that somebody actually is going through or thinking about or contemplating a sex change that could be in the midst of that. All right. All right. And it could be a Gemini. Okay. I got more energies of somebody got three X's. Three X's. Uh, it's a Cancer, it's a Virgo, and it's a Gemini. All right. And I just hear very spiteful and very hateful. Okay. Very spiteful and hateful. All right. I got energies where it's either these people or all three together could be doing spell work, all right, on you, all right, and somebody's awfully, um, somebody is lying about a situation, and somebody is scamming about a situation, and it's a death somewhere in the situation. It could be some type of situation that ends up in a death. A Virgo could be involved. I got um, STD. And as you know, I did a reading about a full-blown STD. And I feel like somebody is literally on the verge of dying from that STD. Because it's full-blown at this point. Somebody didn't get any care about it. Any care. All right. Now, I got another energy here that's um, jealousy. Divine want to talk to you all about this jealousy. All right. Because um, it's like jealousy comes from lifestyles as well okay environments um people that we think is our friend and we center ourselves around them and if you're doing better than somebody or even if your mentality is better your thinking is different um just your mannerisms um how you handle your life your lifestyle how you pay your bills you know just how your home is you know how your family connections are um your your business connections are Somebody is overly jealous of that, all right? And Divine saying, you really got to watch who you tell your business to, all right, and who you think is your friend, all right? Because you guys could be talking to the enemy. You guys could have been talking to the enemy all along. So Divine just wants y'all to watch who we talk to and who we tell our business to. Because we could have been talking to the enemy all along. All right. And they just want us to be more cautious about who we consider friends. Who we let in our house. Who we let in our car. Divine says it's time to start saying no in our vocabulary. It's time to put that word into your vocabulary. No. And that's a boundary. We need to start setting boundaries. Okay. So those are the um, channel messages that I have for you guys, all right?
So we're going to get off into the energy. Somebody could have gotten to a fight right here. A fight energy. Okay. Um, divine is here. Divine guidance is here. All right. Somebody even might be going to the beach. But divine says something shady happening right here. Or something shady happened at the beach. And God then you know that he saw it. Whatever happened at the beach, God saw it. It could have between um it was between a male or and a female, but it was real shady. And divine is saying they saw it. Okay. Somebody want to apologize or somebody know that they missed this opportunity with their empress. All right. They missed this opportunity with their empress. It could have been a water sign, cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, because they juggled you. They juggled the shit out of you. They could have juggled you with an earth sign. All right. Or multiple different lovers here. All right. Now somebody's heartbroken over a situation here. All right. And somebody is a fool, was a fool. Somebody took a leap of faith in the wrong direction here. And now they fucking regret it here. Five of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Somebody could be facing a bunch of legal problems, but justice is here and karma is being served. All right. So that's tonight's dinner. It's fucking karma. All right. Also, y'all, here's a witch bitch. All right, so I got some new decks in from the King of Aloha. Thanks, guy. You know how much I appreciate your talent, okay? So, um, yeah, this is uh, a witch bitch. So God is letting you know karma is being served on a witch bitch here. It can have some legal issues with this person, all right? And also, somebody chose this person over you. That's what divine wants you to know. Somebody chose a witch bitch over you, and now they're facing karma, and they're suffering. They regret it. All right, that's what Divine is saying here. Because, baby, you're a star. You know, Prince Song. I hear that Prince Song. You might not know it now, okay? But, baby, you're a star. All right? Somebody learned their spiritual lesson here. I got this song. God is like, sing it, sing it, sing it. Um, You know, but, you know, I'd be kind of scared to sing a little bit, nervous or whatever. But um, I've been hearing this song all day, and I don't know if Divine put this song together. You know, but I keep hearing it. And I, it's like I done rehearsed it. So God is like, sing it. You know, I hear somebody saying, sing it, sing it. All right. So, all right. You going down. Because God ain't around, baby. Your whole world's upside down. Your sleep won't come easy. Boy, girl, please believe me. All right. So that's what divine is telling somebody. All right. And they just gave me a chill on that shit. All right. That's some Mary J. Blige with God's tunes. OK, somebody going down and God said, please believe me because I ain't going to be around. All right. Mm. Woo. See, that's how you overcome phobias and fears. You just do it. All right. So because somebody won't learn a spiritual message, they lesson. They won't learn it. All right. And Divine said it could be this witch bitch. But right now, she's really pissed off. And it's a revenge energy mode here. Okay? It's a revenge energy mode. And somebody is fated to suffer. All right? So we are going to check into these energies. But I'm going to do those on another video. This fated to suffer here. All right? And this revenge from the witch bitch. All right? Y'all said, ooh, Pat. I know, right? Okay, so let's go off into the energy here and let's find out what's going on here. All right, sorry for taking up so much of y'all time, but I just got to be me. Okay, yeah, somebody's on a vacation, went on a vacation. All right, I feel some nervous energy here. All right, but somebody could be on a vacation on some type of getaway here. Somebody's taking time off or this is what somebody is planning. All right, give me the messages I need, Holy Spirit, for this reading. All right. A reconciliation. So somebody could have reconciled with somebody and went on a vacation. Somebody is trying to work things out. They want to return. And there's unfinished business in the situation. And maybe somebody went on a vacation, reconciled, or this is what someone want with you. Okay. Next energy is Holy Spirit. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Knowing the path. Because somebody, this could be your masculine energy, twin flame. Um, it's like aligning with your purpose, accepting your story, and just trying to get on the right track here. Somebody just want to be along with you and talk to you about this journey and see if you guys can have this union. 
all right? Yeah, because somebody is hypnotized by your love. They captured by your love. You know, this hard to resist, seduced energy here. And somebody just want all of your undivided attention. But as you see, there's a snake there, all right? So be careful about that energy. Somebody want to magnetize you. Somebody want to get you caught up in a sexual trap, okay? Is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, if somebody think the only way to heal things is through sex. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody trap want to trap you. Uh, okay. Thank you. See, Divine said you're going to get stronger. You're going to get stronger. For the people who try to take your energy away, for the people who try to um, you know, make you feel weak, they just trying to trap you. But you got to be stronger. You got to stand in your power. You got to defeat this energy. Divine is going to support you. Okay? They're only giving you more knowledge when you stand in your power and defeat it. All right? Release that fear, okay? You don't want to feel trapped, an unpleasant situation, you know, feeling stuck, feeling like you can't escape from some shit that you went back to. All right? So somebody's just trying to hook you and make you feel trapped. All right, Holy Spirit, what's this energy? All right? Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, through sex and passion. All right, through sex and passion. That's what they're trying to do. Lustful, keep you in a lusty situation. Sexual chemistry, just craving you. All right, and this person going to chase you because this is what they want. They have low self-esteem, validation of self-worth and abandonment issues. All right, so somebody just thinks sex is the only way to get what they want. All right, and also somebody's feeding into someone's addiction. All right, just feeding into it. All right. Yes. Friendships. Friend zoned. Somebody could have friend zoned everybody. All right. And this is what somebody see you as just the friends with benefits. All right. Friendship before love and just trying to build a solid foundation with you again, possibly. All right. So somebody could have had friend zoned some people and now somebody want to possibly build a friendship or something with you. All right. Somebody feel foolish that they didn't. They feel like a damn fool. We've been seeing this clown for quite a while, all right? So somebody been really acting like a clown for quite a while now. Just foolish choices, carelessness, not serious, just playing games and shit, tricking people, just, you know, accumulating friends with benefits and lying to people about where the relationship is headed, okay? Just playing games. That's what Divine said. That That's all we've been getting here, okay? Yeah, and somebody just in it for the money. Somebody could be broke. Their foolishness could have gotten their ass broke now, okay? Just being foolish, careless with money and finances could have broken someone. Now they got they got money problems. They can't really pay all their bills. It's not enough money, all right? So divine said, hold up on that tip, all right? <laughs> all right, because this is the thorny rose. This is painful love experiences. All right. Somebody's a thorn in somebody's ass now. All right. Somebody knows that they got to fight for this love, but they just wondering, is it worth the trouble? All right. Because somebody's still learning lessons in love. Somebody in fear of you knowing some shit, in fear of you learning some shit, in fear of what they might have to tell you. All right. It's a shift in perspective. Somebody needs to raise their vibration in regards to love. All right. You guys are tired. You know, we don't went through a lot of shit here. This journey is like draining on your energy. So a lot of us have really just kind of wiped love out, put it on the shelf for a minute here. All right. And just focusing on ourselves is the energy I'm feeling. OK. So what's this here? Holy Spirit. Yes. Yeah, somebody put themselves in sticky ass situations here. They don't think and shit. Somebody spend money doing bullshit and then they'd be broke. They can't even pay their bills. All right. Somebody floss and divine said, but they ain't doing, I'm being responsible. Yup. Somebody here make a bunch of broken ass promises. They just not a person of their word. You can't trust or depend on this person. They mislead you. They unreliable and the trust is broken here. All right. And it's a rift draw. Now this could be your energy um, towards someone who wants to come back to you. All right. This is like you remember and just you, you heal. You're working on yourself. 
but you realize this person offered you really nothing but broken ass promises okay and you kind of withdraw from this energy you feel like this was a test and you know relationships is a breakdown to us at this point it's just on the back shelf for us we're more focused on healing ourselves and trying to make plans for this new year because i feel the energy no one wants to live like we lived last year you know it was like the utmost deceit and then somebody bringing it back in to 2022 all right yes somebody trying to love bomb you guys with this bullshit again it's like someone just won't stop. They want to, um, they want to, they want to try to act like they want to give you something, but I still see bullshit. All right. To be honest, broken ass promises. I still see bullshit. And I feel like it's only a matter of time before somebody go back to this bullshit clown ass ways. You know, I'm just saying what I see. All right. Any more messages here? Thank you. Holy spirit. All right, somebody going straight into depression. All right. And yeah, just I told you, somebody just like to be in the spotlight and spend an excessive amount of money that they really don't have. You know? And somebody just depressed about a situation here. All right? And it's like prolonged depression, helplessness, you know, feeling victimized, pessimism, you know? Just depressed. Somebody feel like they got played. And it's, they in some high profile ass fake relationship because somebody put it out there like that. Like they're a power couple. Like they want people to envy them and be jealous of them because they got this and they got that. Divine said this shit fake as hell. Whoever they would probably depress as fuck because they broke now. All right. Somebody feel foolish about spending a whole lot of money when they had money possibly. But it's like putting it out there being fake. And now you really don't have that money. You know? Divine says somebody spent too much money on this. And tell readings on you. They're trying to take your money. Now they're losing theirs. Okay? Look at that. Being toxic. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It says somebody spent too much money being fucking toxic. Wow. Okay? Holy Spirit. What's this energy? Again, confirmation. Being toxic. Somebody just out here, they was just being toxic, low vibrational, stuck in toxic ass relationships. This person ain't no good for you guys. Whoever this is, divine said, this person is a red flag. They even wearing a red outfit. All right. They toxic as fuck. All right. The next energy right here is, yeah, they got mixed feelings, mixed emotions. They go in and out. Today they want a relationship. Tomorrow they want to be a player. All right. They go in and out of these emotions. Yeah, because they're full of fucking addictions. Somebody drink a lot. It could be a feminine energy just as well as a male energy. Okay? Badass habits, addicted to sex and drinking, and just destructive ass behavior. All right? So can you guys honestly, you know, think it's okay to have a relationship with somebody like that? Who's still got a bunch of options? Who's still sleeping with a lot of different people? Okay? And the next energy is remain single. This is what divine is saying. Keep your ass single, okay? Because somebody that wants to return to y'all is toxic as hell, okay? It's toxic as hell, all right? And they got all these people around them that keep them toxic. They all about their friends, you know, and it's like they feel like they can't escape a connection. And y'all guys watch out with this masculine. I feel like it's a fake-ass divine film that's trying to make this person feel like, um... They're the one, and they could be trying to transmute telepathic energy to somebody here. All right, because somebody's definitely hunted about what happened between you and them. All right, they're hunted. Divine said that's what they give they shady ass. All right, <laughs> so let's go into this energy here. Holy Spirit, what is it that you want us to know? That's what they get with they shady ass, whoever this was. All right, yeah, the stalker. Somebody's hiding behind trees and bushes. Somebody's stalking you, trying to run up on you. It also could be a feminine energy I see in here, all right? But somebody's afraid of love, okay? Somebody's afraid of love, all right? Yeah, somebody want to marry you. They see you as marriage material, but they're afraid of love. So how do you want to marry somebody and you're afraid of love? Because I thought when you get married, you're supposed to love them. But okay, that's just my thinking. Okay, <laughs> God's sake. All right, 
And it's like love, right? All you see is love. <laughs> Divine said you're supposed to have love. So somebody got this love. They see you as love. But Divine said this love right here is a red flag. It's in red. It's a red flag. They do love you, but they might see you. You know, their love could be different. Their love could be a red flag. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> That's what Spirit is saying. See how the car just jumped over there? Okay. Thank you. All right. They saying, yeah, but they choose you. They want to marry you. They see you as the one that they want to marry. Dang. But maybe you teach them love. Maybe you show them love. All right. And then the other energy is this person could be already fucking married. Okay. Yes. And they're trying to control you. Somebody could be married to someone who is controlling them. All right. But somebody's thinking about you. But it's an old school mentality here. Somebody's stuck in a old school ass ways on down to the fucking music. OK, somebody's still playing cassettes. That's how the energy is. Old school. They keep doing the same fuck shit all the way around. Somebody refused to change their ways. Somebody's stubborn as hell, stuck as hell. All right. But they show is they update themselves to get on online and start dating. All right. Somebody got an online profile, Instagram here. Somebody could be dating. Instagram models. Yeah. Somebody's trying to return. All right. So if you met somebody online, it didn't work out. They trying to return. It's a red flag. Okay. What's these next energies, Holy Spirit, for this reading? What's these next energies? All right. Yeah. Love energy. They said, yeah, somebody from your past is going to try to return and act like they love you. All right. They might want to talk to you about it. But look at this thunder and lightning in the back. They could have just went through a tower moment. OK. All right. And this is yeah, the divine says somebody could have ran away from this person. All right. And that's why they're returning to you because they could have had a tower moment. Now they want to come and talk to you about this love connection. Is it what we get, keep getting here? Yeah, they want to flirt with you. Somebody might send you a flirty uh, type of email or letter or a message here. All right. But you acting cold as fuck. You cold as ice cream. Divine saying somebody trying to flirt with you, but you too damn cold. All right. You too cold here. They're keeping your pictures and your selfies. OK, they're keeping all this stuff, you know, because they want you guys together again. Somebody want to see you back together again. Then I hear uh, Taylor Swift. We are never, ever, ever getting back together. That's why I hear that. All right. Because somebody's still not over you. <laughs> They're still not over you guys. All right. But Divine said, this is fuck shit. They only in it to score. Somebody just want to throw you off your game. Somebody want to throw you off and moving on. Somebody is really trying to trap you. It's just more of the same energy. It doesn't matter what deck, huh? Yeah. This is the person that's been hiding from you. All right. Or somebody think you hiding from them. Okay. Yeah. Somebody think you hiding from them. All right. So this is a male energy that could be running away. They could be ignoring somebody is what I see right here. They could be ignoring somebody. They ran away from somebody. All right. Divine said they ran away from this person. The drama starter. This is who they ran away from. So this is who they over here ignoring because they ran away from a drama, a drama starter. Okay. Mm. And what's these energies, Holy Spirit? Yeah. Somebody want to get close to you again. So just like this is the same energy that someone ran away from another energy and they want to get close to you again. Yeah. They could have ran away because they got busted fucking cheating. That's what they did. They got busted fucking cheating, so they ran away. Yeah, they could have had lunch with somebody else and got cheating and got busted. So Divine said somebody could have came up to somebody's job and caught them fucking or kissing or being with somebody else on a lunch break. Yeah, look at all these lipstick stains on somebody's clothes at work. Somebody could have got busted, all right, from cheating. And that's why they disappeared on somebody. They ignoring somebody. Somebody just keep getting busted cheating. All right. Yes. They're dealing with somebody who's high maintenance. Somebody could be here uh, dealing with a makeup, like a makeup artist, work at a makeup counter. Somebody all about makeup. Wear a lot of makeup. Holy Spirit, what's this energy? Yeah. So somebody is motivated by money. 
okay? And somebody just try to pacify situations, all right? So I feel like a feminine energy could have got caught cheating while somebody was on their lunch break, okay? I feel like a feminine energy got, cheat, got caught cheating here on a lunch break. Somebody could have came home on their lunch break and found out that somebody was cheating, okay? The next energy I got is somebody was cheating on lunch at their job and got busted. Yep. Now somebody want to get close to you because some cheating taking place here. Somebody wants your advice on how to handle a situation, possibly. Okay. It's like still this two of cups. I mean, two of uh swords energy where somebody can't make a decision here. But divine said, whatever, your wish is granted. So why somebody got all this fuck shit going on, all right? You could have met someone already that you're getting closer to. It's a lot of wishes being granted. Karma is being handed out. Good karma and bad karma is being served at this time, all right? Somebody's definitely getting their wishes granted in the situation here. Oof. It's, it's some tacky energy, but the main energy I see is that somebody cheated, all right, and got busted. And they could be hiding from that person or ignoring someone. Okay. What's some more energies, Holy Spirit? All right. What's some more energies here? I'm going to go into this. All right. So this is a love reading. This is all about love, I see. All right, Holy Spirit. All the cards have been shuffled. All right. So somebody definitely needs to heal. The main energy is codependency. So that's what Divine is saying here. All this, somebody breaking up from somebody because they keep getting busted cheating. Then they go find someone else. All right. Somebody just refused to be alone. You know, somebody's scared of abandonment. Divine said, it's your twin flame. All right. So a lot of y'all twin flames put themselves in situations of codependency. All right. They could be having financial troubles. And that's why they codependent. Yeah. They put themselves in compromising situations. I see a lot of interracial couples here as well. But somebody keep putting their self in um, compromising positions and situations. All right. And they could be with somebody that's totally opposite from them now, totally different. All right. Or you could feel like this about this person right now. You just feel like y'all different. Y'all not on the same page anymore. You know? All right, yeah, it's a message coming in here, okay? Holy Spirit, what is this message? Clarify this message, all right? You good, you whole. Somebody feel like you make them whole. Somebody want your energy. Holy Spirit, what is this energy? Yeah, yeah, somebody want to tell you um, why they avoided you, why they ran from you. Somebody could have hurt their hand. I don't know why I feel like somebody got into a fight, okay? And somebody's on a break, all right? Or you guys, you know, you it's a message that somebody might send and somebody want to take a break. Somebody don't want to be in a relationship anymore. Somebody want to take a break. And maybe that's why somebody is avoiding somebody here, all right? The other message is somebody might send you a letter and tell you how they truly feel. And you make them feel whole, all right? You might be everything that they need. All right, this might be a surprise to you. All right, Holy Spirit. Sorry if y'all can I'm confusing y'all, but I'm trying to get this energies right because it seems like there's two or three different stories going on here. And I just want to make sure I get them all right. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's this energy? This surprise? Any more messages? Yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah, you might get a letter too that somebody wanna apologize to you about being deceptive deceptive and being a liar wearing a mask and cheating they might want to write you a letter about that all right somebody could be planning somebody's planning something all right i see um the 13th the 14th the 21st the 28th all right if those days mean anything to you yeah somebody's stuck in a pride and ego at this time all right, I don't know why I see the King of Wands. All right. Um, yeah, because somebody's in a complicated situation. 
this is what they're going through or this is what they went through. And you might get a message about this. Yeah, that somebody want to spend some quality time with you. All right, I feel like somebody might be getting out of jail. Ooh. Okay, and that's why somebody trying to message you possibly. Somebody might be getting out of jail. All right, yeah, somebody wants your high vibe and energy. Somebody wants you to uplift them, heal them. Somebody going to tell you how much you mean to them. All right. Yep. But they're stuck in a third party situation still. All right. And somebody just not ready. Mm -hmm. They're just not ready. Divine saying they're, they're not ready. Okay. Yep. Because they're still toxic and crazy. And they could still be dealing with somebody in this energy. So it's like divine trying to protect you guys from situations because somebody's still low vibing and you're high vibing and these energies are completely opposite and they would throw you off track here. Okay. You strong and you confident here. You got your pride. All right. You standing in your ego as well. Okay. But you know that somebody is just deceptive. All right. You're not even surprised about it anymore with divine sin. You guys have watched so much videos, so many videos, and you know, somebody is constantly stuck here in a third party. That's toxic. That's, um, they just not ready for love. All right. They not. Somebody just wants your high vibrational energy and divine said, this is why they like to be with you because you high vibing and your energy is good. The, and um, they would like to spend quality time with you now because they stuck off into complicated situations that they put themselves in. They stuck there. Mm -hmm. Divine said so that's what they manifested. All right. Divine said so they stuck in this dark ass energy. All right. So this is what I have for you guys. All right. So if somebody try to come back. They just still carrying devil energy. I feel like somebody shook hands with the fucking devil. I feel like somebody is still wrapped up in temptation and lust and sexual energy. All right. Divine is saying protect yourselves any way you see fit and let people know of concern about what's going on in your life around you. You know, let people know what's been happening with you. All right. Anything that's not right. Let people know. OK, so that's what I have for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you would like your own personal reading, please give me a shout at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.